Hello, good morning. Tell me what the lick read. Pretty waist, slim waist with the squeeze. So I'm actually about to do this shoot. And the theme that I'm going for is the same theme that's on my nails. Well, really my thumbs. So I woke up one morning and I just saw sky and clouds. And I was going to get my nails done. So I'm like, hmm perfect idea for my nails so i went to my sister who is my nail tech and i told her i want to do blue with clouds and we ended up coming up with these so so i wanted to continue on with that theme for this shoot i have some cotton that i'm going to fluff together and hang from my ceiling i'm going to use a blue backdrop and try to bring it to life let's get started I'm still not the best at these voiceovers, but as you can see right here, I'm setting up the shoot, putting my backdrop up, hanging the cotton from my ceiling. I'm using fishing wire so that you can see it less. And what I do is just fluff the cotton into a ball, tie it around with the fishing wire, and then I hang it from the ceiling with some tape. And that's my homeboy Zeke who came through. We had a meeting while I put this all together. I got the backdrop done. I hope it's low enough. I really fucks with how this looks. We got Freaky Zeke here. I just need to make sure it's gonna be low enough. Are you sure? I this am... reminds me of Drake shit. Oh, it's good for you. That thing was the same type shit. Yeah. No, nah, don't do that to me. I'm gonna just put some low ones too. All right, I'm letting Zeke pick my outfit. Let's see if he really got style. Pressure. So what are you thinking? I'm, I'm really trying to go with the colors. I like greens and blues. Oh, you like that skirt, huh? I like the greens and the blues. <laughs> <laughs> this shit just jumped down. Mm. This is dope too, though. Oh, you like this that? This definitely hit with the blues, though. You wear that? Would I wear that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but this could definitely go with the uh, colors. I'm going with this. This shit dropped out of nowhere for nothing. Oh, yeah. shit. Damn, I don't know if somebody right for that thing. You about to put me in there. So I was definitely feeling the green skirt over that pink jumper. I had to go with that. And finally, everything's set up. I'm ready. I'm taking my pictures. I have my phone set up to my camera so I can use it as a remote. And this is how I take all of my self-portraits, if you are aware of my ongoing series. And after I get a few shots, I let Zeke take some of me. He helps me out. And I know what you might be thinking. Don't even go there. But shout out to him. And y'all got to go shop with him at skywalking.com. It's day two in the clouds. Today, I'm here with my sister. Hey. She saw the backdrop. And she insisted that she get on it too. <laughs> I got the perfect jacket. I know it's gonna look bomb on this. Mm. So I yes. feel like I had to take a picture of this. <laughs> so we both about to get up here. This time I have a lighter backdrop up there, but we put the clouds back up. We actually had to redo the entire thing because I had to take everything down for another shoot. So we just put it all up. I'm using my light blue backdrop as opposed to the one I used the last time, which was a darker blue. And I'm gonna actually just do the whole shoot again because you can never beat perfection. Let's get it. Put your hand on your hey. <laughs> we ready. Alright. We wanted this jacket. Matches so my nails. Look at the. We just all uh, synchronized. Hey. Hey. What you doing? Hey. I saw you. Hey. I saw you having a photo shoot. How you knew you were doing a photo shoot? Uh, I'm psychic like that. <laughs> So the last time I shot on this, it was a gloomy day. And today's a gloomy day. But it's all good. That's what I got this for. My trusty tripod. My man Frotto. Hey, I wish you had a mirror in here. I'll look at myself. We are finally out the clouds, the fake clouds. I am now in the real clouds, the clouds of my life. Only this time, they're not dark. They are actually light clouds. So I'm at my computer and I have all the photos in front of me and I'm about to edit. And I'm gonna show you guys the process. I just want to start my screen record. Pictures look fire, by the way. My sister literally just texted me and asked me, when am I releasing? I know she's probably ready to like release them now. So here are all the photos I've chosen that I enjoy the most that I took today. 
I really love just the way these came out. The clouds look so realistic. Like the ones that I took today, you can't even see the string. What I'm doing first is selecting me because I don't want, I mean, I need to fix the background and I don't want to have to crop it too much. Like I want it to stay basically framed the way it is. So I'm just outlining me so that I can basically color in the background without affecting me. So I'm using the quick selection tool. Now I'm using just the, I forgot what this is called. It's another selection tool, but I don't want to mess up the clouds or me. I just want to fix the edges, but as I'm going along the edges, I don't want to get my brush on the clouds. And I'm only going to show you guys how I edit one because I'm pretty much going to do the same process for every photo. And I am so high. <laughs> I feel like I'm asleep, but it might actually be because I'm sleepy. Yeah, I kind of am tired actually. I feel more tired than high. Alright, so I'm making a new layer. I have my selection all done. I'm making a new layer and then I'm going to paint on this layer. And what I'm doing is using my color picker, which is this eyedropper tool right here. But I'm doing it a quick way because I'm on the brush. I'm just clicking option or alt and it just gives me the eyedropper tool. I'm picking the color, clicking on what color I want from the pick. And then I'm just going to, oh, I gotta bring up my opacity. I also have to invert my selection, which is right here, or you can just do Command Shift I. Click in the color. And then I'm just going to paint the edges. I'm gonna paint them the same color, pretty much get as close to the color as possible. My whole, this whole concept honestly came to me, but I started kind of diving deep, <laughs> of course, cause that's what I do. Just deep within, you know, me and the concept and just how I pretty much do live life in the clouds. Like, I mean, I'm an air sign, I'm a Libra, you know, we're always in the clouds already, but I'm really always in the clouds. And it's not just because I be high. <laughs> I pretty much, you know, live my fantasy life. Like, for real. I live life through the fantasy of what I create. And we all do. I mean, we all live the lives that we create, which is what we think. But lately, I've been realizing I'm not even thinking about the life that I want. I think about it, but I don't believe it. Or I'm not living through my belief in a way. I have to like kind of shift my mind in a more positive direction in the direction where of where I wanted to go. This was kind of a revelation that I've gone through since I started this concept. What I'm doing now is kind of erasing these edges because I don't, well you see how it looks. Like I don't need it to be that clean around that sharp around the clouds. I'm just gonna have to like kind of taper this side. If I'm gonna live a life in the clouds, I definitely have to make sure the life that I'm creating is the one that I want because our power to manifest is really strong. Like my power to manifest is strong as fuck and I'm gonna manifest whatever it is that I think about. And a lot of times I need doubt and shit. I doubt myself, I doubt my direction. And it's probably one of the reasons why my direction is always, I'm just all over the place with my direction because I don't believe in it enough to stick with it. Like I'm always, okay, I'm bored. Let's go on to move on to the next. Also, 
this issue of mine is not as bad as it used to be. At least now I am in a more positive space. But a couple months ago, last year, this was not the case. Shit was looking a little scary over here. And you know, my circumstances were different. <laughs> my circumstances aren't the best right now. But my mindset is, my mindset is like, way better than it was when I was more secure and stable physically. So right now I'm just like trying to blend this as best that I can just to make it look as natural as possible. And I use a lot of shortcuts. So I'm sorry that if you are a Photoshopper and you're like trying to learn some shit, you're probably like, what the fuck is she doing? I'm switching between the brush and the eraser. And I'm also resizing the brushes of each by using the brackets, the right and left bracket on the keyboard. If this is something you wanna do as far as Photoshopping and shit, learn the shortcuts. They are lifesavers. It also is great. On your resume if you want to get a job in this field you know the shortcuts it speeds up productivity when i first got out of college my first job interview was for nasa as a photo editor as you can see i did not get the job i mean you can't see that can you i was so confident in that even though i would not have guessed that i would work at nasa even though i really heavily fucked with astrology and astronomy and I was always into space. I loved learning about space. It just wasn't for me. I was really young. I was only 20. I hadn't even graduated yet. It was my first interview and I didn't do that well, like if I think back on it. The confidence was there, but I was too confident because I just knew I had it. I remember the people interviewing me were walking out of the room and I didn't even stand up to like shake their hand as they were leaving. I regretted that so much. I was like, what the fuck? And then I also wasn't good at the track pads, the drawing tablets for wake boards. I wasn't good at that, which I don't know why I could not get it. But as soon as I got my own, like that shit was a breeze. For some reason in the interview, I could not get that shit. I ain't gonna dwell on it. All right, so I pretty much got to a good, solid point in the background of this. I'm gonna just touch it up just a little bit by bringing my brush up, bringing the opacity down, and just like going over just a little, just a simmer. So now I'm gonna color correct this a bit, mess around with the lighting. I don't really know what I want to do with this picture as far as like the colors. I fuck around a lot with curves, like pretty much for everything. I use curves for the light, for the color. Hmm, I like that. I kind of feel like I might want a vignette, but let's see. I do my own vignettes by making a circle and then I invert the circle and I go to curves and I make it dark and then I go right here which is the properties and I feather this thing out like this oops actually just a little a little vignette See? just kind of brings the focus in I think I also want a little bit more of a contrast before after all right I'm saving this I probably mess with it more on my phone these are just for instagram now i'm actually known for 
making self-portraits and doing self-portraits because I've been working on a series, which you see two of those back there. But this isn't a part of that series. This is just something I just wanted to do, really. And the idea came to me. I also, I meant to say earlier, like as I was getting deep into this concept, or at least, you know, a part of my revelation from earlier, it's like how my life has been going pretty well. Like it's been light, which it's been a long time since it's been so positive. I deal with like dark times. I get depressed very like intensely. And it's been so great that I forgot about the dark times that I've had and I forgot when these clouds were dark around me, you know? And this is kind of like why I do what I do is to help other people with their dark clouds. I just started thinking how my voice sounds. Put a little ba bass, put a little bass in my voice. So I felt like I was losing my shit. But basically, Lately, you know, life has been pretty good. I've been receiving help, you know, I feel more positive and I feel more directed and guided on my path, the path that I've like, been wanting to go towards. And it's been making me forget about the dark times and the dark clouds that I used to have around myself, which were very overwhelming and intense and just hard to get through. And that's like the reason why I do what I do because I want to be somebody who can share the testimony of how I've gotten through my shit and that it's possible to get through shit and I can help people get through their shit so they don't have to be in it as long as I was in mine. Like different methods that I've gone through and or that I utilize. Like creating and expressing myself and forcing myself to do both. Like my faith, my spirituality, praying, meditating, being patient with myself, giving to myself more, doing things for myself, taking time out for myself, keeping myself first and putting myself first. These things have helped me get through some of my darkest times, writing, expressing my art, and then sharing those experiences it's liberating to be able to share. It's a privilege to be able to share. I am drinking my winter prosperity tea, which I'm low key addicted to. <laughs> it's so good. I'm not addicted in a bad way. <laughs> I don't want to put that on my, my creations. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a different kind of structure that I haven't done before with the whole tutorial. And let me know what you think. Um, this is specifically for my YouTube. Partial of it is going on Instagram. But if you're watching this, please subscribe, like, share, support me. I'm really like on this journey trying to fucking make some shit shake. Okay. Check out perlawoods.com, shop with me. Follow me on Instagram at perlawoods757. I'm on Twitter at chicken and dick. That's where I get a little ratchet. Beware. Much love, peace, and blessings. Chase your fears and express yourself. Peace.